Hello everyone, today uh, we are going to look at all the earth yellow that I have here, the watercolors. We'll do some uh, comparisons uh, between different brands uh, when they are the same colors. We'll start with uh, Nicolazzo Yellow. This one is the Roman Small uh, Nicolazzo Yellow PY150. It's a color I like a lot. It's a very a dark golden yellow in mass tone and when diluted uh, some kind of lemony yellow and I really love it. Next we're going to look at the Daniel Smith Nickel Azo Yellow PY150. I thought at the beginning, uh, before the, doing this comparison, that uh, the Rommel small one is stronger, but now I think the opposite. As you can see also here in the swatch. I decided uh, to do the pebble swatches that uh, I saw in Natasha Newton's uh, videos um, and I hope uh, they are nice for you. So let me know if you like uh, this watching uh, method with me. Next, uh, we look at uh, Daniel Smith Queen Acrodon Gold PY150 PO48. A very beautiful uh, Queen Acrodon Gold. It's one of my most loved uh, Queen Acrodon Golds. And I think I will buy a tube or more from it because uh, soon uh, PO48 won't be available. And yeah, it's a color I use a lot. A very earthy and quite smooth uh, golden yellow. And the uh, PO48, the Queen Burnt Orange, gives it uh, some uh, luminosity. Next, uh, we look at uh, Schminka's. Quinacridone Gold. It is made uh, from PR101 and PY150. It's a nice uh, golden uh, yellow, but uh, I prefer the Daniel Smith and the Roman Small one. But yeah, it's also very beautiful. Next is the Roman Small Queen Acrodon Gold PO48 PY150. I understand that it's uh, not available any longer, that they don't have any more of the PO48, which is very sad because it's a beautiful, beautiful Queen Acrodon Gold, I think. I like it uh, the same as I like the Daniel Smith one, and it's very beautiful. Next is Daniel Smith Queen Acrodon Gold Deep. It has more PO48 and less PY150 than the regular Queen Aquadon Gold. And yeah, I like it, but less than Queen uh, Gold.
Next one is uh, White Knights Indian Gold. It is made of PY150, PR101. I saw in uh, Denise Sodden uh, video uh, of her top uh, 40 watercolors um, that uh, she says that it's maybe the closest to the original Queen Akadon Gold PO49. I have never seen uh, the PO49, so I don't know, but this is a beautiful, beautiful uh, color. It's close to the Daniel Smith Queen Aquadon Gold Deep, but it's more uh, saturated. And yeah, I like it. Next color will be uh, Schminka's uh, Super Granulating Shire Yellow. It is made of PY159 and PV62. It's an interesting uh, color. Um, I don't use it a lot. I don't know why. I feel like uh, the Shire colors are too... Uh, I don't have a really strong uh, tinting strength and I don't know why I don't feel uh, they uh, work well with my other colors. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm just uh, not enough uh, into them, even though they're very beautiful, really, really beautiful. Next is uh, St. Petersburg uh, Ochre uh, of White Knights, PY42, PBK8, PW6. It's a really nice uh, color, I like it. It's, um, it's close to the Daniel Smith uh, Bath Titanium. And even if it's a three colors uh, mix, I like it. And of course, it's quite opaque. Next, next is a White Knight's Dunes. It is made from a PY42, PBR6, PBK7, and PW6. A very beautiful color. I love it. Next is uh, the Van Gogh uh, Titanium uh, Bath, PW6 and PBR7. It's uh, smoother than the Daniel Smith uh, Bath Titanium. And I love it, actually. I really, really love it. I use it the same way that I use the, the Bath Titanium of Daniel Smith. I mix it with other colors to create soft pastel a uh, more natural like colors. Next is a uh, um, Daniel Smith Bath Titanium PW6 Column 1. I use this color a lot. It's a must in most of my uh, palettes. I think the only palette that don't have it is the Schminka palette. And yeah, I really, really love it. It's a granulating off-white color. Now we really look at the three earth yellows of Schminka. The first one is the uh, Rutal Yellow PY53. A very nice uh, pastel earthy yellow. And I use it uh, also to mix uh, pastel like uh, natural colors. 
I especially love uh, the greens and the grays that I made are made with it. Next is uh, Turner's uh, Yellow PY216. It's a bit more a uh, strong tinting uh, than the Rutal Yellow. It's less pastel and also very beautiful earth yellow. It's very soft. Less soft than the Rutal Yellow, but also very soft. Next is uh, Schminka's uh, Titanium Gold Ochre PBR24. It's a pigment that I really love, both in watercolors and in gouache. Um, I love this color. It's really amazing. It's white opaque, but anyway, I really, really love it. I understand that Daniel Smith have now a new col watercolor with this pigment, but I haven't tried it yet. Next color will be Schminka's uh, super granulating color Tungudra Orange. It is made from PR233, PBR7, and PY43. A very beautiful uh, granulating uh, airstone. It's both yellow and both uh, pottery pinkish and brown airstone. And yeah, it's really, really beautiful. And also, uh, you can use it for many things. I really love it. Next is uh, Schminka's Spinel uh, Brown PY 119. A beautiful um, earth yellow brown. It's a kind of a caramel uh, brown very beautiful this uh, version is uh, not so much granulating it granulates but so not so much and Windsor and Newton has the same pigment uh, a color made by the same pigment but that one is very granulating but looks more brownish like a uh, lunar eras of Daniel Smith although lunar Earth is made of a uh, PBK PBR 11 which is another pigment Next co uh, color is Daniel Smith Italian Deep Ochre PY43, beautiful color. It has some uh, soft granulation and it's an orangish, brownish, yellowish airstone. Next are a few of the Daniel Smith uh, Primatech uh, watercolors that I made uh, from a uh, gemstones or semi-precious uh, gemstones and uh, maybe other pigments inside them i really love these colors the first one is bronze genuine i really love it i use it quite a lot and it's so so beautiful it's good uh, uh, to paint sand or highlights on the uh, rocks or highlights sometimes on water or uh, um, to mix it with the um, fatal blues uh, to create some kinds of uh, uh, lagoons or beaches I really really love it it has um, some uh, mica in it so it glitters a little bit but it's very soft and beautiful sorry about the noise Next is uh, Daniel Smith Bent uh, Bronze Genuine. It's a bit more reddish and also very beautiful. I use it mostly for highlights on uh, rocks. It also has mica, which means it greets litters very gently. 
Next is uh, Yava Pai Genuine, also a Primatek of Daniel Smith. It's between some kind of a caramelic uh, a color and a burnt amberish color. Uh, I like it. It's very beautiful and it's very granulating. Next is uh, Daniel Smith Primatech uh, Tiger's Eye Genuine. I really like uh, this color. I wasn't sure about it at the beginning, but now I really like it. It granulates beautifully. And I like to mix it in different uh, portions with the Burnt Tiger's Eye Genuine to create in between uh, tones. And I really love it. It's, it has low tinting strength, but still it's uh, beautiful. Next color is a, a Roman small ochre Havana PY43. Um, it's kind of uh, between goatite, uh, brown ochre to some kind of um, yavapai color. Uh, it's a uh, more burnt amberish, between burnt amber to yellow earthstone, and yeah, I love it. It's very beautiful. It's not the same as Goethe, we'll see it in a minute. Next is the Roman small Goethe, uh, it's uh, made of earth pigment. It's very beautiful. Uh, I think that the Roman small Goethe is more yellowish than the Daniel Smith Goethe. And it has uh, a huge uh, granulation. I really love uh, this Goethe, I think it's amazing. I thought uh, before that it's stronger than the Daniel Smith, but you will see in these watches, uh, in this comparison, that the Daniel Smith is, is uh, stronger. It's just more brownish, the Daniel Smith one. We'll see it in a minute. Anyway, I really, really love uh, this color of uh, Roman Small. Next color is the uh, Goethe from Daniel Smith, PY43. Don't know if you know, but PY43s are considered also the natural earth pigments uh, in comparison to the PY42s, which are the synthetic earth uh, pigments, earth yellows. And yeah, I love the Goethe in, from Daniel Smith. I use it in many of uh, my palettes. I think it's a great uh, granulating uh, airstone. We'll now look at uh, Daniel Smith and very friendly yellow iron oxide PBR6. I love this color. It's really, really beautiful. It's more brownish uh, than regular uh, yellow iron oxide. We'll see later the transparent yellow oxide of Daniel Smith and they are different. So this one is more brownish, but uh, because it's a yellow iron oxide, I decided to, to swatch it in this uh, video. Very beautiful one. Next is Daniel Smith Rose Sienna PBR7. I love this Rose Sienna. It's a bit more orangish, brownish than other Rose Siennas that I saw. And I like it for that because um, it creates some kind of diversity in the yellow earth tones. And usually I take or this one or the Goethe with another more yellowish uh, 
golden yellow earthstone. Next uh, one is uh, Daniel Smith Monte Amiata Natural Siena. It is made of a PBR7. It's one of my most loved uh, earth yellows. I use it a lot, a lot, a lot. It's a uh, quite soft it's softer than uh, the yellow iron oxide and yeah i love it and it's more yellowish than regular raw sienna next is uh, van gogh raw sienna py42 it's a nice color it's more a brownish than the yellow ochre and yeah i love it i still prefer the daniel smith and the roman small arrow siennas but still it's a nice one next is the uh, daniel smith roll sienna light py42 um i didn't like this color at the beginning but now i like it more it's a uh, very grand a uh, very a uh, soft and creamy it's not so much granulating and I like its uh, creaminess and softness. It uh, mixes uh, greens with blues and not grays. In comparison, for example, to Daniel Smith Yellow Ochre, which mixes more grays with blues. Next is Daniel Smith Mass Yellow PY42. It's a color I like and use it. And yeah, I really love it. It's beautiful. It granulates uh, less than uh, the other ochres of Daniel Smith, but more than the raw sienna light, and I love it. Next is the uh, Roman small natural sienna light PY43, and yeah, I love it. It's a beautiful color. It's also very creamy, very soft. I love it. Next is Roman Small, a transparent gold ochre, PY43. Again, a very soft uh, earth yellow, very creamy, very transparent, less granulating, but although I uh, like it. I like its softness. Next is Roman Small, a uh, Now we look at the Van Gogh yellow ochre PY42. It's the first uh, yellow ochre that I fell in love with. Even though it's quite opaque, I really love it still till this uh, day. I know that many people don't like uh, the Van Gogh uh, earth yellows, but I do. It's very soft and creamy, even though a bit opaque. Next is the uh, Daniel Smith Yellow uh, Ochre PY43. I think it's the most beautiful yellow ochre that I know. It's a bit more brownish than the Van Gogh one. And it's very granulating and quite uh, transparent, which is uh, a change for yellow ochre. So you see that I didn't have a lot of uh, space left. I didn't cal calculate uh, well enough. But never mind, this is uh, Daniel Smith Transparent Yellow Oxide PY42. And yeah, it's really a beautiful color. Next is uh, Burgundy Yellow Ochre PY43 that I love and use it quite a lot. It's a bit more greenish, I think, than the Yellow Ochre and very, very granulating. Very beautiful color. Next is uh, Roman Small uh, Rosenta Monte, Monte Amiata PBR7 and it's much more brownish and granulating than the, natural, than, than the Daniel Smith Monte Amiata Natural Siena and I love it. It's a bit, it makes a bit of a harsh line when painting with it but still I love it. Very beautiful color.
And the last color we will swatch in this video is the Daniel Smith French Ochre PY43. I uh, love this color. I didn't like it at the beginning, but now I really, really love it. It's very beautiful and uh, gentle. I forgot to mention that for this uh, swatching uh, session, I used uh, the Fabriano Aquarello watercolor paper. It's 300 GSM A4 in size. It's quite rough and I think it's great uh, for swatching, less for painting, but really, really great to show a uh, granulation. So the colors has uh, dried, uh, they're very beautiful. I'm zooming in and let's look at them. Uh, the nickel azo yellows. Uh, the woman uh, smile is more saturated than the Smith, yet yeah, less. They're both really beautiful. I really love them. Next is uh, the Quinacodon uh, Golds. Yeah, they're very, very beautiful. I love mostly the Daniel Smith, the Roman Small, and the one White Knights uh, Quinacodon Golds very very beautiful colors love them you can see that queen gold deep is uh, less saturated and more uh, deep but i like it less Next is uh, the, all the pale uh, earth yellows. So we start with the uh, Shire yellow. You can see the yellow granulation that comes uh, out. And then there are the four bath titanium like uh, colors, very pale, very beautiful. I like uh, the two white knights uh, colors. They are more strong, but very beautiful. and. I love the Van Gogh and the Daniel Smith buff titaniums, especially the Daniel Smith one. Next is uh, Schminka's uh, Wutal Yellow, pale uh, earth yellow, very beautiful, very opaque. And in comparison to Nickel Titan and Yellow, which is also PY53, it's more earthy than the Nickel Titan and Yellow. Next is uh, Turner's yellow, and now we look at um, the PBR24 uh, Schminka Titanium Gold Ochre that is quite opaque but very beautiful. Next is uh, the Tundra yellow, uh, Tundra orange of uh, Schminka, and the Spinel brown of Schminka. I really love these colors. Uh, and Italian deep ochre that is very soft and beautiful. They are more uh, brownish uh, earth yellows. Next are the Primatex, the bronzite, the brand bronzite, which has a uh, mica in them, and the uh, Yavapai genuine, which is very beautiful. Tiger's eye genuine, which is very low tinting strength, but very beautiful. Then Hocker Havana, Goetite, and Goetite really love these colors you can see the difference between the two goetites here one is more yellow one is more brownish very beautiful colors the ochre havana is different from them it's more burnt amberish uh, color next is the uh, environment friendly yellow iron oxide you can see it's more brownish uh, but still, it's a yellow iron oxide, so I put, I swatched it anyway. And next is uh, Daniel Smith Rose Sienna and the Monte Amiata Rose Sienna of Daniel Smith. One is more orangish brownish, one is more soft and yellowish, very beautiful colors. And here you can see also the Monte Amiata of Roman Small. Next is uh, the Van Gogh uh, Rose Sienna, which is a bit more dirty looking Rose Sienna, but still I like it. And uh, Daniel Smith uh, Rose Sienna uh, Light, which is very soft. 
and creamy. Mars yellow, which I really love, even though it's not so granulating. And uh, the two uh, colors of Roman small, raw sienna, natural sienna light and transparent gold ochre, which I love. They're very soft and creamy. I really love them. Next is the Van Gogh yellow ochre. As I said before, it's the, the one the yellow ochre that I fell in love with first. And then uh, uh, Daniel Smith yellow ochre, which is more brownish. Transparent yellow oxide, uh, Monte Amiata, French ochre, and Burgundy yellow ochre. Really uh, beautiful colors. I really love them. So you can see the Burgundy is more yellowish, uh, greenish than yellow ochre. This is Putski, came to say hello. <laughs> She's so sweet. You can see her. Uh, now zoomed in and uh, yeah so thank you for watching have a wonderful time and happy painting bye